So I work for SunTrust. I've been with SunTrust for 12 years. I've worked with the music community for the last 16. I've worked with songwriters and publishing companies for most of my career. What I do is basically tour financing, help you try to make sure that your tours that you're doing, when you go from A to B, you're making a profit. And how we do that and what we do is vastly different from most banks. You know, when you go to apply for a bank loan, it's what did you do the last two years? So in the music community, it doesn't really matter what you did last year or the year before, it's what you're doing today, who you're working with. And so what we do is kind of incorporate not only the financial aspect of it, but try to introduce really who you should be working with. And so as I sit down, I've met with probably 50 new artists this year. And the idea behind it is they all want to be famous, they all want to be on the road, and they all want to make money. But the problem with this is music business is not making money. So when you look at, uh, let's just say there's some producers in the room. If you're a producer, how hard is it to get paid to produce a song for somebody else? When the kid from SAE will do it for free. Pro Tools has made it easier now than ever. Let's just say you're a songwriter. All that matters are singles. So you're not getting paid for album cuts, you get paid for the single. Not to mention, publishing deals are scarce. So, how do you make money in this industry? One of the ways, if you're an artist, you gotta tour. I've talked with a lot of artists over the last 16 years, and I'm like, I need $10,000. I need $20,000. And I'm like, what for? If you're not touring, you don't have social media, no one knows who you are, so why would you spend the money on pictures in an album when no one's going to buy it? <laughs> right? So you're coming to me for advice for financial reasons, and what we do is try to depict and schedule out what it looks like for the next two to three years. I say the next two to three years because country music is the prime example of a single that could last 24 years. I mean, excuse me, 24 months. That was typical back in the day. Country music has fallen into a hip hop recording stream where they're having to release a new single every 12 months. Not to mention, the radio stations are only playing 20 song sets. So if you're not a top performing artist, how hard is it to get into those radio stations to play your single? So the idea is for me to help you structure a way to create multiple revenue streams. In today's world, good, bad, or indifferent, whether you agree with it, the internet has made it easier for artists to enter the market. I'm not saying they're more successful, but it's easier. There's more, there's no gatekeeper in it. There's really good music, and there's really bad music. But anybody can put a song on iTunes. Anybody can put a YouTube video on But how you monetize that, how you collect it, and how you turn that into a bargain when you meet the next person and take you to the next level, that's what you need to do. And how that happens is me meeting people here, you know, getting involved and doing the work. But what I would tell you is, I've done a lot of no's. I'm, I'm the first person to sit up here, but I'll also be the first person when you come to me and like, I don't know if this is gonna work, you know? Because you haven't put the work in. Or you don't have the right crew, or you don't have the right team behind you. So, what I can tell you about the music industry is this. Technology is king right now. And behind that is your team. And artists get mad at me all the time when they say, I need money. And my first response is, coming from the other side of this coin of the banking, I'll tell people, have you thought about Kickstarter or GoFundMe? 
and everybody looks at me with disdain. They're like, I don't want to beg to produce my music. Totally get it. But now that you're in Nashville, you have to think of this. It's not about just art. It's about getting to do your art and make a living. Because if someone's going to give you money, in Nashville they want something for return. And it doesn't work just because 100 people stand up at a bar and buy you shots every night. Kickstarter, GoFundMe are great ways. I know artists don't like to do it because it feels like you have to beg for it. But the bottom line is it gives you an insight to where your fans are, how devoted they are to making sure you can create the music that you want to make, you know, who you're touching and how you're touching them. If you can't raise money on your own, why would you borrow money to try to raise more money? So, I'm not saying I'm the sexiest person in the music industry. Everybody hates bankers. But what I can tell you is this. No. <laughs> exactly, whoever said that. The idea is this. Not only can we introduce you to people that have like-minded scenarios and want to grow, but what you're embarking on and what you want to try to do in this industry is really about relationships. It's really about connections. The people in this room, some of you have had a huge amount of success. Some of you don't even know what that means yet, but you'll probably experience it. But having a right team and thinking that if you do get that single or you do get that contract, what do you do with the money? How do you, how do you manage that? Because it doesn't happen forever. First day on the job, I got a call saying, my Grammy's in the front, you're on. You're repossessing my house, what am I supposed to do? As a new banker, I'm like, shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Run. <laughs> but those are the facts, right? It's an awesome industry to be in. I love getting to do what I get to do because from somebody who, let's just be honest, bankers don't have the best reputation in the world. But as I sit here in the industry, you guys really bring us in and say, how do I make this work? How do I put together a Southeastern tour? How do I put together a college tour? How do we do that? Who are the booking agents that aren't booking the major shows? Do you know anybody? I need a contract. I need somebody to help me with my taxes. We can do all that. And I'm not just saying it's just me, but there's other people that do that. But aligning yourself with people who know what they're doing is the key to making sure you can continue to do what you want to do. Because I'm sure all of you can make great music, but at the end of the day, it comes down to can you sustain it? Everybody can have one good song, but can you create a career off of it? So. That's kind of my soapbox. Um, I don't have a lot of exciting stuff, but if you have questions, I'll answer them now. But uh, that's what I do. So, Wasn't it important for someone new to town, been here a couple of years, to establish a relationship with a banker in the music business? Um, so what he said, if you didn't hear it, is why is it important to come talk to somebody like me? Well. There's a lot of things we know how to do. So if you're a writer, singer, or performer in any capacity, and you're looking to establish a network of people, one of the things we can do, not only then just give you the bank account, but what SunTrust in particular has done for the last 30 years in the music industry is take your intellectual property, which for most banks it seems insane, but we've turned it into a tangible revenue producing situation. So some of you already have catalogs out there, some of you had singles, and you want to do another project. We can say, you work with so-and-so, your song's on the charts, it's generating X amount of money, we can use that to lend other money. Another situation is you're new to town and want to meet new people. 
Well, one of the things we work with are people in the industry who are responsible for your careers, whether it's artist managers, business managers, record labels, publishers. We deal with those guys all the time. And so sometimes there's like, hey, we're looking for something like this. Have you seen anything? I'm not a talent person. I don't judge talent. But when I grow to like people, I have a client right now who just got signed to an artist management deal because I believed in them. I introduced them to an artist manager. They were touring the Northwest. And when they came back, I set up a meeting with them. Kind of told them, here are the pitfalls, here are the good things. Let's get a lawyer involved. I brought in another lawyer. So you can bring in people as you make connections. This town is really about relationships, but it's also about money. 